This is the brand new Aquapur T1 Ultra from Tokit, a next level multipurpose watering filtration system. It offers a multi-layer double filter reverse osmosis filtration system with a dual UV sterilization and real-time TDS measurements. And in my tests, it got the water almost perfectly clean. We're talking two to three ppm at most. Absolutely incredible. By the way, by now I'm running a three-stage reverse osmosis system for years and I will talk about the immense importance of owning such a system in the conclusion segment. Goes without saying that the T1 Ultra is much better. But not only will you get clear and clean water that is 100% safe to drink, with this device you can also choose the temperature of it. From super chilled 5 degrees centigrade or 41 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to semi-boiling water 99C or 210F for making tea and coffee. You can simply pick one of the presets on the screen, you can even choose the amount and you can also see the status and all the rest on this display. Great display by the way. It's really an all-in-one solution right here and a great machine all in all. It looks neat and it can be used for many, many applications. So looks and sounds amazing, right? But is it actually that good? Well, let's find out. New drip. Got a new drip from Tokit, the Aqua Pure T1 Ultra. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. It is currently getting launched on Kickstarter, so don't miss out on all those great early bird offers. Yeah, and with that said, let's check it out. So there we have the box. Since this is a Kickstarter project, this box is of course still subject to change, but I will still show it to you briefly. So we have nice handles on the side. I'm sure that they will keep this, this feature and this on the other side. So ice cold, that's their main selling point. But I think the filtration capabilities are much, much cooler than that. <laughs> nice pun. We have the best features right there. But yeah, as you can see, it's all taped up and hardly visible. This box is just a prototype box. So let's open it up. On top, we have the paperwork and then also a large pad. And in it, we have this tray. And that's the device already. So let's get it out. And there we go. There we have the, oh, I think it's the filter. So, and now that's all. So the machine is still wrapped as well as these filters. So let's open them up as well. The tray and now, the machine itself, there we go. And on the side, we also have the cable attached and all those tapes, keeping it all together safe and sound. On the tray as well, and it's really nice because all of them have these little helping segments where you can just easily lift it off and then pull it off. All right, and with that, I think, little rubber seal. Oh, also this one right there, the large one, screen protector. Nice. So we're ready to check out the accessories and the manual. So we have this little rubber flap that it was inside of the nozzle. I will keep this. Why not? Then we have the tray. It looks absolutely beautiful. Taking it apart is super easy. Great for cleaning. And we have the bottom right there with the feet and it will attach right there. So let's close it up and let's see how that will work. Boom. Magnetic. Absolutely lovely. Taking it off. Reattaching it. That's the best. And we have the filters as well. So we have the RO, reverse osmosis filter right there. That's a solid piece right there, solid part. And we have the small print right there, also right there. And on here the QR code with the locking mechanism and the inlet outlet ports right there, right on. And the second one, this is the PPC filter. Let's check out the details right away. And also that. This one only has two connectors, of course, in and out. Well, this one can also be rinsed right on. And now let's check out the paperwork. So we have the product line right there. And on the back, we have the socials and also for feedback. And here we have the manual. It will unfold. This might be subject to change as well. But there we go. One and two, three, four and five. Let's go. Nice comprehensive manual. So to recap the plug, the paperwork, the filters and the Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So I will remove the tray. This will make the handling a bit easier. And yeah, this too will make it easier. So the back compartment, the water tank, it will slide off just like that. It has a lid and there's the tank right there. Pretty nice with the handle and it can rinse itself. So we have the fresh water, basically the tap and the wastewater. Nice design. And let's check out the rest. We have the cable on the back and the machine also has a lid right there 
on the top with the touch screen, nice large screen. Looks really professional, so yeah, let's get straight to it and let's take a close look. Again, let's start with the lid from the tank. We have this prompt right there. We can also remove this, but for now I will leave it on. And the inside looks like that. So the handle, nicely formed, really cool. Here we have the inside, inside of the tank, little mesh right there. Also this indicator in here and the connector is on the bottom. All right. When it gets to the machine, we have the lid and it looks just the same as the other one. It's just a bit bigger. Really nice large display on the front. We have the nozzle right there and it is not recommended to do, but I guess I have just have to show you everything that's the bottom of the machine. Six nice rubber feet in total. Also an outlet right there, hot water caution. And on the back, we have the rail for the tank and these two connectors right there, which are also, of course, valves. Then on the top, we have the two holes for inserting the filters and also this note right there. So check it out, all the small print. PPC on the left, RO on the right. So that should be easy. We have the indicator right there. So lock it in, screw it in. Now the osmosis filter. So we have this indicator corresponding to the here. So slide it in like so, and then turning and pushing it in. And it is as simple as that, RO PPC setup completed. The sides are mainly blank. We just have the cooling vents, the air vents down here. And on the other side, we have a caution, thermal vent, no covering. So check it out right here. And we have fans underneath here as well. With that, we can close up the top and insert the tank. All that's left is the tray. And with that set, we are ready to move places. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up, check out the operating system, and then of course test it. So there we have it and check it out. Large space right there, so it will fit big glasses without any problems. And secondly, what's awesome about this device is it's actually a standalone system, which means you can place it anywhere you want. So without further ado, let's turn it on. That's what it looks like. And first of all, of course, I will have to fill up the tank, short rinse, and now just regular tap water. And this is quite a large tank as well. So this should last for a very long time. Very nice. It will now detect it and start to pump. We have the status indicators right there and we have the water button down here. So let's give it a bit more time to complete the internal setup. So it's the next day and look at this beautiful machine. I decided to wait for the sun. Now it just looks way better. So the first step would be to flush all the way to 100. So we will start with zero and then it will rise up slowly all the way to 100. And as you can see, the display is currently non-responsive and also limited. So we need to complete this step. So let's do this ASAP and I will stop here and let's keep going all the way to 100. We're now at 70 and check this out. The TDS level is at the one that is incredible. Oh my goodness. The dirty water tank is almost full and check that out. Here we have all the dirt inside. Works really nicely. So let's keep going. And check this out. We are done with the setup, with the full rinsing process. And as you can see, we now have the full display capacities unlocked. So let's check that out right away beautiful screen. So as you can see, the default mode after the rinsing is cooling is active. This will take approximately 20 minutes to cool down half a liter of water. So in the top left corner, we have the TDS that's coming out of the system. We have the source TDS, i.e. the water inside of the tank. We have the temperature of the water and we have the snowflake indicator, meaning the cooling is currently active. And here we have all the presets and we can choose between them just like that. So from 41F or 5C all the way up to 210 or 99C. And we can also deactivate the cooling by pressing and holding this one right there for three seconds, then it will turn off. So if you don't want or don't need the cool water, you can turn it off and also back on just like that. And as you can see right there, it starts at 60C that we can also activate the lock right there. That's the child lock, great safety feature. And lastly, down here, we can cycle between the volume. So we have four, eight, 17 and max. So I will go to four. So let's grab four ounces of water. And aside from the RO and PPC, we also have the pouring 
indicator right there. You can turn the screen back on by pressing the water button. And when the cooling is done, it will also beep and the snowflake will shine continuously. And now we can grab the coolest option. So let's go. And we get nice blue LED light as well. And during real life usage, you will basically always have cold water. As I said, it will take around 20 to 30 minutes to cool down 600 milliliters. That's over half a liter. And now let's see. Wow. Mm. Wow, that's really chill. And filtered water tastes so nicely. Let's check the PPM. What? It says three right there. But this measurement tool shows that it has only one. So this is extremely clean. Extremely clean. Ah, that's proper cold right there. One more time. You can see it right there, the condensed water, proper cool right there. But of course, we can also go for 25C right there. As you can see, now we have the white LED. All right, that's room temperature. It tastes really nicely. Let's try the milk preset, baby milk preset. Yeah, one PPM, definitely great for kids. Really cool. That is an awesome feature. So I will turn off the cooling. And also, as you can hear, when the cooling cycle is done, there is no more noise whatsoever. Let's grab the 60 degrees centigrade one. Okay, and now we'll get a different color. Already the orange, wow, the orange one. This is already really hot, almost too hot to grab it already. Okay, now let's keep on going with the 75. Oh, and we actually have to press the lock button and only then. Now we get the safety feature. This is for your kids so that they don't burn themselves because yeah, this is already proper hot. That's a great safety feature right there. And this feature will start at 60 degrees centigrade or 140 F. All right, let's skip to the 90 degrees C right off the bat. Lock and go. Same orange LED light effect. Yeah, that's definitely too hot to touch. And the last stage right there. Lock and go. So we got the semi-boiling water going. I hope the glass will survive. Definitely don't touch that. Incredible. And in between, we also, of course, also have the self-cleaning cycle going. And lastly, when it gets to the amount of water, this is four. We also have eight. This is, of course, just twice that. Awesome. Just awesome. This is a good amount for a typical glass. 17 would be more than double that. And we, of course, also have the max. And in this case, you just have to stop it by hand once more. We also have space for large vessels. Or we can, of course, also easily remove the whole tray right there. Place this near a sink. This is also great for flushing. And another great benefit one of the coolest features, in my opinion, aside from the amazing filtration capabilities and all the awesome presets, is the fact that you can actually take this device anywhere you want. You just need electricity, but there is no tap connection needed. You just fill up the tank and then you have the full capacity going. So you can bring this in any room of your house, in your basement. You can even bring it in your garden. It's portable and it fits every occasion and the design is just lovely. It fits everywhere. So yeah, this is a premium device right there. Super Superb comfort, chill water all the way to semi-boiling water. Massive thumbs up from my side. The Tokit Aqua Pure T1 Ultra is awesome. So as you saw, great looks, great build quality and great hardware. I love the concept all in all. Water filtration is so important. So let's talk a bit more about that right away. I'm located in Austria and our tap water is great. One of the best in the world. But even here, you just can't be sure what's in it. From bacteria to chemicals, to hormones, to microplastics, you name it. And worst of all, mostly short term contaminations are really hard to detect. So better be safe than sorry and get yourself a great filtration system, especially if you have kids. You are what you eat and drink, so don't drink crappy water. And not only that, your body actually thrives on pure water, like this machine can produce. It is a deep rabbit hole, but it is absolutely worth the dive. I can recommend it. But in any case, let's move on. So most reverse osmosis filtration systems, they have three stages. This one has six stages with additional UV sterilization on top. So this really is the best of the best and an ultra solution to say the least. Well, you saw it, the water was of superb quality and clean. 
cleanliness. And this fact alone makes this worth the investment in my eyes. And you can really use this machine anywhere, even with a way worse tap water. And then additionally, we have the convenience of the temperature range. With this, you can get super chilled water from the bottom of the range all the way up to the range to super hot, almost boiling water. It is super fast. You can easily pick the needed amount too. Just tap a preset, whether it's a cold, refreshing sip of water of super chilled cold water or for making a coffee or a tea or any other hot beverage for that matter. It is much faster than a coffee machine, way more convenient. And by the way, the coffee also tastes much better with clean water. It's a whole different level of appreciation with a machine like this. You gotta taste it. And honestly, it also looks way cooler than a regular coffee machine. So yeah, I like it a lot. It brings so much to the table. And for that, the price point is actually amazing, especially if you catch it for an early bird offer. Absolute no-brainer. So all in all, the Aqua Pure T1 Ultra is at definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals or the details, the Kickstarter campaign. So check it out. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.